So let's just run through this to make sure you understand. We've got a public function construct, so we've got a constructor here, which is reading in some um, arguments from when we initiate our class. Then what we're doing is we're checking to see if this connect function returns a true value. Now we haven't done anything with the connect um, method, sorry, uh, yet, but when we do, if it returns a false value, we're going to say connection failed. Otherwise, if it returns a, f a true value, we're going to say connected to DB host. So what we could say is again, we could say if this connect DB host DB username db password so if this equals true basically because we don't have this um, exclamation mark here as our not saying is it not true so let's just test this out let's return true automatically in this connect function so when we call the connect function or the connect method here and here we're automatically returning true so therefore we're going to say connected to and it's going to successfully work. So at the moment, if we refresh our page, you'll see that there's nothing on there because we need to create a new instance of this connect, uh, this uh, database connect class. So connection equals database connect, and remember we need to supply it with three arguments, which is the host, the username, and the password. So this actually at the moment isn't using the MySQL connect function to see if it's worked or not. We're just supplying through um, uh, three arguments and then we're automatically going to return connected to localhost because we're automatically ret returning true on this connect method. So let's refresh. You can see, oh no, uh, database connect. Oh, sorry. Okay, so I've put connection equals database connect. We need connection equals new database connect because now what PHP thinks I'm doing here is um, it thinks I'm calling a function when in fact it's not a function it's a class or an object so let's refresh connected to localhost okay that's fine we presume that would happen because we've automatically returned true here now let's try and automatically return false to see what happens and you can see that it says connection failed. So we know that everything's working up until now. Now all we need to do is inside our public function connect, we need to, let's just get rid of that, inside our um, method connect, I mean, we need to um, do a MySQL connect and we need to check if this has connected and then we can return a specific value. So we just say if MySQL connect, um, we'll put a not in there, so if the connection is false, or if it hasn't worked, and we're supplying, remember, database host from the arguments up here, database username, again from the argument here, and then also db password. So if that hasn't worked, bear in mind we already, we, we automatically connect to our database because we supply this command, but this if statement is checking if it's not connected properly, then we return false. So hopefully now you can see it start coming together. Else, return true okay so what we're doing now is we're connecting to our database if it hasn't worked we're returning false back to this construct here uh, where we've made our check and uh, otherwise we're returning true back to not the construct but uh, the uh, check in here where we're using this connect so now let's uh, double check that uh, let's refresh our page to see if we don't have any errors okay everything looks okay let's create a new uh, instance of our connect and this will either work or not so we uh, can say connect equals database connect and then we can put our uh, arguments in here now just before that in this construct just above the if I'm gonna say echo um, attempting connection Okay, so I'm writing attempting connection and then what we'll either get is connection failed or connected to uh, our, our server. So, um, database connect, um, we need to specify the host, which is for me localhost, um, the username which is root for me, and I don't have a password set, but let's just, um, let's just uh, get rid of that for now and refresh and see what happens. Oh, again I've done the same thing and I haven't used my new keyword in there. Let's refresh, and you can see we've got attempting connection and then connection failed. So now let's try with the correct credentials. I'll type my, 
my username in there so this will successfully connect to my database so let's check if it works okay and it says connected to localhost so with what we've learned already and with using this constructor here we've automatically taken in some uh, arguments from when we create a new instance of our uh, class we've read these in and we've used a function called connect which has, uh, has allowed us to connect to our database now why is this useful? Why might this be useful in a real life uh, situation? Because it's just simply an easier and tidier way to connect to your database and return errors. You can see that here we've got a really neat way to show that we've connected to our database. We don't always need to tell our users that we've connected to our database, but let's say for de debugging purposes you wrote all your code like this. You're going to have detailed error information sent straight back to you without just using uh, procedural code where you will maybe say or die, kill the page. Um, here we get specific information and all we need to do is say connection equals new database connect and we're basically done.